show you big picture in a moment. Let's tell you what's going on right now. The heaviest rain pushing east of the Cascades. In fact, we got a good batch of heavy rain in the Yakima Valley right now. Everything's turning light. The back edge of the showers are sitting right there. So tomorrow we might even see uh, some sunbreak activity for a couple spots. Um, and overall, the shower activity is diminishing. Now, the snow in the mountains is still taking place. Here's Stevens. Here's the U-turn. Stevens Pass is going to be sitting right about there. And of course, they're still seeing snow. Good. Snoqualmie Pass got dumped on today. In fact, they picked up almost a foot of snowfall, but now it's transitioning into like a rain snow mix. But that precip is about to die down. Here's a look at the passes right now for anybody traveling. We do have traction tires required only westbound travel right now. So if you're heading east on Stevens or Snoqualmie, you're good. OK, um, here I'll break it down. Traction tires for Stevens just advised. Required westbound Snoqualmie, required right now at White Pass. This will likely change since a lot of that activity is diminishing. Now, the wind hasn't really kicked into high gear yet. I mean, we're basically calm everywhere except up towards Oak Harbor and Friday Harbor. UW High Resolution Model says once the front pushes through overnight tonight, the wind will kick up, all right, between 10 to 20 miles per hour with gusts a little bit higher than that. By tomorrow, a lot of that wind will die down. OK, so this is just an overnight uh, scenario. We go into the afternoon hours, that wind will subside hour by hour and then just turns flat out calm as we go into your Sunday and uh, and Monday. So that's why I'm hopeful that this north wind will keep the clouds to our south and we'll actually get some sunbreak or some moon breaks out there so you can check out the lunar eclipse. OK, all right, I'm done with you. Can you just keep going? Thank you so much. Uh, we talked about the snow. We talked about the winds. All right, we we're seeing that wind advisory. I also want to just give you a quick update on some flood concerns. Coastal locations, you might get into a flood situation since there's a coastal flood advisory tomorrow uh, during high tides specifically. So check your tide charts. Same thing for the north coast up there towards Whatcom County. All right, here's your seven day forecast, ladies and gentlemen. 50 tomorrow, just a few spotty showers, mostly activity is happening right now. Sunday, we're dry, so there it is. Hopefully, we can be clear into Sunday night.